All right. Hello. I stopped for dinner, but I'm back and I'm ready to do episode two. Let's go. 7.20! God damn! I'd still be asleep too. I start work at 9am and I, <laughs> I wake up every day at 8.30. No earlier. Okay, just from like the way that that was shot, I'm guessing that they don't know that they live opposite each other. They're so loud, man. I don't like them. Just calm down. After all that, they end up meeting each other anyway. It's so loud. That wouldn't happen uh, in this country, like, if someone, I mean, firstly, you wouldn't put two orders in the same bag anyway, but if that did happen, and like, I ended up with someone else's food as well as mine, they wouldn't call me, they would just call the person and be like, hey, sorry, we really messed up with your order, we're gonna bring you a fresh salad. Like, they, they wouldn't call me because like, they would assume that it, it had been eaten or like they can't take back food that's potentially been tampered with um so that just that's a really weird conversation to me that he would even tell pran that like what is pran meant to do about that now <laughs> it's time for our first sponsor yay I wish advertising was done like this in English shows. I would be absolutely into that. It's so cool. This show has a lot more sponsors too. Like they've got, I think we've seen like crispy seaweed and stuff. I wonder if we're going to see them eat crispy seaweed. That would be funny. Absolute confusion. Thank you for eating my salad. What kind of logic is that? See, his friends are so much better behaved. They're quiet, they're like behaving at the table. I like his friends so much more than I like Pat's friends. Oh, they're sitting right outside, I didn't even realise. But. See, they're just proving my point. They're so loud. He was realizing.
<laughs> Is he not gonna say anything? Just go down and leave him up there for the night? At least he told him, that's kind of nice, I guess. So loud. I hate them. There's so many unlikable characters in this show. Oh, that's why. Oh, no, I like him. Oh my god. He's like trying to be professional. He's asking if they need anything else. Man, just go to the manager. Like, that's harassment at that point. You can get them kicked out for sure. Your that lady's drink in the background is so blue. It's like she's drinking a liquid highlighter. Oh, I feel bad for him. Tell the manager, get him kicked out. Fuck them. Man, it's getting expensive as fuck for him to keep this secret. Oh my god. I hate them. Can you imagine if that was like an actual girl in there that had never met them before. Can you imagine like how intimidating that might be for her? To have someone just randomly banging on her door? God, they're dicks, man. I hate it. It's so toxic. And they're so loud. Like, I've even turned my headset volume down and they're still, like, peaking in my headset. Isa. See, they're, like, trying to... <laughs> there you go, toxic. <laughs> Pack that shit in. And they're like in there trying to have a quiet, civilized conversation. I don't like Pat's friends. They're annoying as fuck. They're bad friends. Okay, maybe not that civilized. I love it. I'm sure that's not actually the word they say, but I just love the fact that it sounds like no is meow. 
So when people say no, no, no over and over again, it just goes meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I find it like really cute. เชื่อป่ะตอนที่พัดตีกองจําได้มั้ยแม่งถือกีตาร์เดินตามเวียนแบบพี่ช้าชิดเต๋งแม่งเป็นทางบ้านว้าวป๋าวันก่อนเนี
Well, they're kind of getting on a little bit better, right? Like, they're not really friends, but... Oh, pretty. What? I'm sorry, what? What is... What a transition! What the fuck is happening? You don't even see them have a confrontation. It just, like, cuts to them fighting. Yeah, about that. Oh my god. The friends, man. I hate the friends. I hate the friends. I hate the family. I don't really like Pat that much. Well, no. See, I like them. I like Pran and Pat at certain times. Like, sometimes they're kind of sweet. And then the rest of the time they're really immature and just bickering and it's really annoying because of how immature it is. I don't know. I'm still not loving many of the characters. Pat and Pran have both grown on me a little bit, but they do still have their really childish moments where they're acting like they're 12. But then there's also some kind of nice moments that are kind of sweet. And I keep, like, I watch this end credits and there's some really cute looking moments. And I'm like, I want to stick around for that. There's a lot of unlikable characters. So, but again, I am kind of enjoying it. Um, I don't know how long that will continue for if people don't start, like, mm, I don't know. It definitely comes across like a slower burn than Cutie Pie, which, considering the rating difference, is obviously going to be the case. But by this point in Cutie Pie, we had already had a kiss, um, or a full-blown makeout session at the beginning of um, episode three. And it definitely like they're not even really on good terms yet; like they're just starting to get to good terms. And I'm not a huge fan of slow burns. But there's so many cute looking moments that I want to... So look at the way he's looking at him. But I am going to watch episode 3 and see how I get on with it. And uh, I'll just watch it until I do get bored, I guess. Or until the unlikable characters are just too much for me. I don't know. The thing is, I feel like the characters that I don't like are purposefully unlikable and that also makes me want to stick with it it's not like um you know everyone's sitting there going oh i love pat's friends they're really great people and it's just me that has a problem with it like they're obviously designed to be douchebags that are fighting with each other so you know i'm sure i'm not the only one who's feeling like frustrated at this point with a lot of the characters so i guess it you know I guess we'll just have to see how we go and, and go from there. So I'm going to hop into episode three. Bye.